the first responders enter the Pulse nightclub after the massacre in Orlando. They walk through the horrific scene of bodies and called out, if you are alive, raise your hand. I was sleeping in a hotel in the Midwest at the time, but I imagine in that exact moment, my hand twitched in my sleep. Some unconscious part of me aware that I had a pulse, that I was alive. The next day I woke to the news that an assault rifle had fired 202 bullets through a gay bar on Latin night in one of the worst massacres in US history. A massacre of people who did not leave the dance floor when they heard gunshots because they thought they were just the beats of a song. Everyone around me spent that day grieving and every tear was someone's dance sweat drying in the morgue. Later that night, I was performing for an audience that had spent two hours in line waiting to get through the bag checks and metal detectors on stage. I couldn't keep my hand from covering my heart. I kept scouring the club for the fastest route to every exit. I knew the person working security was in a text war and wasn't keeping his eyes on the door. I knew there was a man in the fifth row picking at the seams of his duffel bag. Every few seconds, I'd eye the balcony for the glint of whatever might aim to tear the bodies off the spirits of the boys holding hands of the girls with a haircut short as my temper when rage is a decibel I can actually get to and I'm not just grief sick and ruined watching history not be history watching the music not be music knowing someone having the best night of her whole life said this is my favorite song and then a rifle lifted over a bathroom stall and emptied a magazine into the kidneys of a grown man texting mommy I'm gonna die his handprints and blood on the wall reaching for people dying in the fetal position, people covered in their friends' blood, sobbing too hard to hide from their own deaths, while people outside push bandanas into bullet wounds. It's true what they say about the gays being so fashionable. They're ghosts. They never go out of style. Even life, it's like funeral practice. Half of us already dead to our families before we die. Half of us still on our knees trying to crawl into the family photo. That night on stage, I kept remembering being 15 at Disneyland, wearing my best friend's hoodie like it was my boyfriend's class ring. How many years it took me to just touch her face. How many years I spent praying my heart would play dead till the threat was gone, till the world changed, till history was history. But history just keeps coming for the high, keeps shooting up bodies, keeps drumming up reasons to have metal detectors at poetry readings for the poems. They're just unanswered calls who people who claim they're God or their apathy is unwilling to accept the charges. Dear God, how broke do you have to be to not buy people time to get out the door when the song goes to hell, when this world drunk on hate decides blood is wine and drinks its fill and the only place they ever thought was safe and the only place they thought they did not have to hide and the only place they were wanted because, because of who they loved and how they loved, and how they loved, till someone walked through their bodies and asked who was still alive, and hardly anyone put their hand up.